10 events that will happen before 2050. If Blade Runner, The Hunger Games, and Robocop have been any indication, the future doesn't look very bright. The technological progress will undoubtedly be incredible, but we don't know what it will cost us, and I'm not talking about the money. Of course, predicting the future is impossible, but we can make guesses based on our current trajectory. Some are obvious, like the tripling of our population and the inevitable lack of nutrition. But there are some you may not have thought of. Welcome back to our channel, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll never miss an upload. Today, we're going to take a look at the 10 events that are likely to happen before the year 2050. Number 10. We will have new superpowers. Despite the immediate challenges of trade tiffs and a pandemic, the world economy is projected to keep growing rapidly over the next few decades, with a global market in 2050 doubling its current size. With all this growth will come changes. While we can never predict anything with complete accuracy, economists agree that some of the developing markets today might just become the world's superpowers by 2050. In 30 years, economies like Vietnam, the Philippines, and Nigeria will see a considerable increase in their rankings and surpass America, Japan, and Germany. Brazil will become the fifth largest economy in the world, and it should be no surprise given their abundance of natural resources. And while Nigeria has struggled with corruption in the government, the entrepreneurial spirit remains strong and pushes the country forward. Over 30% of Nigeria's population are business owners, among the highest rate in the world. What would a world with these new superpowers look like? Number 9. Superbugs This definitely isn't something you want to hear. With over 750,000 people a year dying due to infection carried by bugs, the possibility of them becoming stronger is just not something to look forward to. Superbugs are strains of bacteria, viruses, and parasites resistant to antibiotics and other medications used to treat the infections they cause. There are still no vaccines or cures for some of these infections, and that number could hit 10 million before 2050. This could happen due to the restriction-free prescription and usage of antibiotics. Drug resistance is a naturally occurring phenomenon that can be slowed but not stopped. So over time, they adapt to the drugs that are designed to kill them and change to ensure survival. While antibiotics definitely can help you get rid of many pesky things, bugs develop tolerance to them and evolve. This is actually avoidable if we reduce our consumption of antibiotics. Researchers are currently evaluating how germs develop resistance and how to counter it. Number eight, holographic TV displays could go mainstream. 3D holograms have long been featured in science fiction movies. In 2012, it leaped out of the screen, no pun intended, and gained the spotlight when the late rapper Tupac Shakur appeared on the stage of Coachella to perform with Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Since then, holographic displays have mesmerized audiences, giving rise to innovations in the field. They're becoming increasingly popular for their practical applications in education, medicine, and of course, entertainment. The wave would most likely begin in Japan and South Korea before the rest of the world catches on. Before the pandemic hit, Japan had planned to project the 2020 Tokyo Summer Games outside the venue as holograms. This highly advanced system wouldn't even require athletes to wear motion sensors. The system is called Kiari, and we hope to get to witness it in action after things are a bit safer. Number 7. Global Warming This one is hardly a surprise given our current trajectory. The loss of our Arctic ice pack is one of the most evident signs of climate change. In 2020, the Arctic ice sheet has already depleted a worrying amount. It's currently at its lowest recorded point since we first started measuring it in 1979. And what's worse, it's expected we'll lose a lot more of it by 2030. And some reports state it might disappear altogether by the end of the 21st century. The region has seen an increase in temperatures. And if we continue down this path, an ice-free Arctic may happen sooner than we can predict. This would increase the magnitude and frequency of storms and alter marine life in the Arctic. And because renewable energy isn't as profitable as fossil fuels, making the switch will take longer and be much more difficult. We might not just make it in time. Number 6. We could move to Mars SpaceX founder and billionaire Elon Musk has dreams of the human race colonizing Mars and is actively working towards making the dream a reality. Since the conditions on Mars are not that far off the conditions on Earth, the planet is friendlier than, say, the Moon or any other planet. That doesn't mean it's perfect by any measure. It will take thousands of spaceships and tons of vitamin C to make life possible on Mars. To live on Mars, 
There needs to be a self-sustaining city. That means we would need artificial living environments, so we could very well be living inside glass domes. At least, this seems to be Elon Musk's plan. Currently, he's looking to dispatch a series of Mars-bound cargo ships in 2022, followed by a crewed flight much later. Elon Musk is looking to settle humans on the Red Planet by the 2040s, and has said there will be a democracy on Mars with less complicated laws than here on Earth. The city would grow food in solar-powered hydroponic farms, located either underground or in enclosed spaces. He also wants there to be a fun outdoorsy atmosphere, with parks where you can take a jog, all within the dome, of course. It sounds like a fun place to be, and when Elon Musk talks about it, well, it seems plausible. Number 5. Interstellar Travel and Exploration We only have ever seen this in movies, but it could become a reality sooner than we think. Yuri Milner is currently funding a project called Starship, which consists of a fleet of light sail spacecrafts capable of journeying to Alpha Centauri, a star system 4.37 light years away. That's about 24 trillion miles. There have been talks of a flyby mission to Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet in the Alpha Centauri system, with Proxima Centauri as its host star. The planet has conditions similar to Earth. The ship is estimated to take between 20 to 30 years to get to the star system and four years to send a message back to Earth. According to the Russian billionaire, the fleet would consist of a thousand spacecraft, each weighing just a few grams. He hopes to launch these by Number 4. Space Tourism In 2021, Bigelow Aerospace plans to start construction of the Space Hotel, which should be able to accommodate six extremely wealthy people at a time. Since its founding in 1999, the Las Vegas-based company has focused on inflatable space modules. It now plans to market and operate these modules as space hotels. Two modules, B331 and B332, are designed for low Earth orbit and span almost 12,000 cubic feet. They are each about one-third the size of the International Space Station. The vice president of the company, Blair Bigelow, aims to provide the modules for science and research at a much lower prices than ISS. She believes that this accessibility to low Earth orbit can help other nations start their ventures into space exploration too. And surprisingly, Bigelow does have the edge over its massive competitors, SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, simply because Bigelow is focused on creating a permanent structure that's cheaper, while others focus on designing and developing spacecraft to take people on an orbital journey. And indeed, the only thing better than a trip in space is actually living there. Number 3. Close Call with an Asteroid these kinds of claims are pretty common on the internet, and it feels like every other bit of debris flying around out there could bring our demise. But it's believed this one won't impact us. In 2029, an asteroid called Apophis will pass by our planet, with just over 19,000 miles between us and the rock. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance for us to truly understand asteroids around Earth, as this happens only once every thousand years. The asteroid's proximity and size will also brighten up the sky, around 2 billion people should be able to see it with their naked eye. Although we can be confident Apophis won't hit us, we can't be sure Earth won't be impacted in the future by other space rocks orbiting the Sun. Number 2. Extinction of Chocolate For all you chocolate lovers watching this, this one is going to hurt just a little bit. Your favorite food might actually go extinct in the next few decades. Cacao plants are increasingly becoming prone to fungal disease and are severely affected by climate change. In 2020, Diseases like Frosty Pod and Witch's Broom ravaged Central America's cacao plants. Cacao plants can be very sensitive and need specific conditions to grow well. Nitrogen-rich soil, abundant rainfall, stable and consistent temperatures, high humidity, and as little wind as possible. Few places in the world fill all this criteria, which leaves the production of chocolate vulnerable. There is a very real possibility that these fungal diseases could spread to other parts of the world where cacao is grown and affect them as well. By the year 2050, we could see a spike in global temperatures by 3.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 2.1 degrees Celsius, leading to dry conditions and therefore reduced cacao production. If we don't find a way to reverse climate change, we may have to accept living in a world with no chocolate. That is unless scientists find another way to produce chocolate or find a way to engineer a cacao plant that is immune to the disease. There have been studies and experiments on this, but only a concept so far. Before we take a look at number one, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to leave us a like. Number one, teleportation could actually become a thing. Teleportation is not just science fiction. 
Star Trek-style teleportation is already being heavily funded and researched in Russia, and they aim to accomplish it within the next 20 years. A part of the country's National Technology Initiative is a plan to advance quantum technologies light years ahead of where it is today. It sounds like science fiction, but there have been successful experiments at Stanford at the molecular level. Thanks to the Hadron Collider, we can expect to see a lot more quantum data. Of course, transporting a person is far more complicated than what's been achieved at Stanford. The very concept of teleportation is to destroy the original object in order to read the data locked in the subatomic particles and then reconstruct it at the intended destination. Not only that, the amount of data we hold inside our bodies is so huge that it would require a quantum supercomputer to process it, which we don't have. Not yet, anyway. Fingers crossed. It's more likely they'll perfect teleporting data, which would make for incredibly fast computer networks. So don't go hoping for a quick trip to Bali for vacation, just yet. And that's it for the 10 events that will occur before 2050. Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments down below, and be sure to check out other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.